Yeah, that's right, Chris. In Madison, after months of being shut down during the worst of the pandemic in 2020, a number of a, gr a growing number of Sacramento businesses say they are not risking another closure, requiring proof of vaccination on top of this newly reinstated indoor mask mandate. Dead cat, dead cat. No more curiosity. It's poetry night at Luna's Cafe. But to get in, each person had to show they're fully vaccinated. Again, I, I want to see the proof. It's, I'm not going to take your word, anybody's word for it. Art Luna reopened Luna's Cafe just two weeks ago. And I felt that proof of vaccination was the only way to go. He says safety for his staff and guests was his top priority. Well, I actually made the decision uh, months ago, anticipating that we were going to reopen, but that it would be sort of iffy. And if he is right, as of Friday, he will also require mask indoors as mandated by Sacramento County as the Delta variant fuels COVID-19 cases. Luna is among a growing number of Sacramento business owners going above and beyond what public health officers are recommending. The restroom, Boulder Field and Trophy Club implementing variations of vaccination verification policies. And not too far in San Francisco, more than 300 bars are requiring proof of vaccination or or a 72-hour COVID test to sit indoors starting Thursday night. We feel like if we do it in mass, it'll in a sign of solidarity. It'll, 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 it'll show the general public that vaccines are important, and also, you know, it's a statement that we have the right to protect our staff. Ben Blyman, founder of the San Francisco Bar Owners Alliance, says his members have the right to look out for the best interests of their workers and their guests. At this point, these decisions up to the business owners. So for those who may already be vaccinated, the question may be, do I have to start carrying around my vaccination card? Perhaps, but also the state last month launched a digital tool where you can input your name, uh, your last name and uh, your date of birth, and it will provide a QR code and verify your vaccination status. You can find a link to this on ABC10.com.